Hello everybody, I hope you're doing okay um, and I hope you're enjoying these MCYC online videos. Big thank you to everybody in front of and behind the cameras who's put all of this material together. It's really blessed us and I hope it continues to bless you. Uh, we've not been able to go to camp in a normal way but we've tried to bring camp to you in a special way and uh, I really hope that everything that you see and hear over the next few weeks will really bless you and bring something of God and God's love and our love for you. Um, as you watch. My name is Dave Pendleton and I was due to go to Interze as camp director um, and when I was asked it was January of this year as quite often it's they like to get the directors in early and I was in South Korea on business and we heard about this virus in China not too sure what was going on small outbreak and one of my friends flew over from China to meet me and we're asking, how is this going? How's it going? She said, should be okay. Usually pretty good at keeping on control of viruses, Japan and Korea. Uh, and as we flew back, little did we know that in six weeks time, the world would change beyond all recognition. In the middle of March, uh, we went into lockdown. We were required to shield, to work from home, not to go to school, not to socialize. And then finally, the decision was made that we couldn't go to camp. There's a strange new world that we all found ourselves in. And by the time we got to that point, 19 million people had been infected with this virus. Uh, and everybody was fearful and wondering what's going to happen as we come out of lockdown and what this strange new world is going to hold for us. John uh, was 14 when he came out of lockdown. Uh, he'd been shielding for nearly six years. And in that time, nearly 70 million people had died. It was 1945 and it was the end of World War II. And like today, people were coming out into a brave new world. They wondered what the future held. Um, they wondered where life was gonna take them. Um, and John met this guy called Bill, who had a, an idea for a camp, Christian youth camp in Wales, in, in Abergelly to start off with. Uh, and as John arrived, uh, nobody else was there. Uh, and he was the first one to set foot on what was to become Merseyside Christian Youth Camps. That was 75 years ago. John is 89 now, uh, and in that time he's been a camper, he's been a leader, he's been assistant director, he's been on the camp committee, he prays for camp. He's actually spoken at MCYC Live, one of the first MCYC Lives. Uh, and in all of that time, from a young man to an old man, John has seen God move and bless and change so many people's lives in those 75 years through camp and take those people on in their lives. When I was first asked to do this devotional, um, the first verse that came to mind, um, being a relatively old guy, um, was Psalm 37, 25, and it simply says this, I've been a young man and now I am an old man and in all my years I have never seen anyone who loves the Lord forsaken. When I got John's permission to talk about him in this video I asked him if you had one message to give to the young people of today what would it be? Uh, and he said this, hold on to God as, as hard and as much as you can hold on to God through this life. Uh, because he will come through for you. He will in the hard times, in the good times, in the strange times like where we find ourselves now. He will be there for you because John is a 14 year old boy like you um, stepped into a strange new world and you will step into a strange new world so step into camp for the first time next year some of you but God blessed him and throughout his life God continued to bless him and my prayer for you is that you will be more like John as your life goes on. You will learn to hold on to God. You will learn to know that you've been young and you've been old and in all your years you've never seen the Lord forsake someone who loves you because God loves you. God bless you.